So I think there are probably three pillars on which green, the future of green hydrogen in Oman can be built. The first one, and probably uh, the most important one, is the role that green hydrogen can play in decarbonizing industry and transport in Oman, and particularly heavy duty transport, but also industry, Sahar, Salala, and Sur, and other industrial complexes. So that, I think, is in line with Vision 2040. Um, the other one is obviously gas conservation. So, you know, hydrogen becoming part of the energy mix means more years, hopefully, before we have to face a supply demand gap on the gas side and enables the government of Oman and this country to utilize gas resources to industrialize for a longer period of time and plus the economic uh, development and the multipliers that come with that. And the third one is obviously export that we talked earlier in the panel discussion where the big centers for demand for green hydrogen in the future will be is not necessarily where the cheapest supply will be generated in terms of cost of production for renewable uh, electricity, uh, but also uh, you know export uh, uh, port facilities and export facilities and proximity to market. And I think that third one, while that's probably still the furthest away in terms of technology scaling up electrolyzers, but also de-risking transport solutions, is one that will position hopefully Oman to be the next exporter of green energy uh, from the Sultanate to the Eastern markets and possibly to Europe in the same way that it does today in energy. I think we what we need to do is start today, work on the regulatory framework, put pots and pans and concrete in the ground, work on de-risking both the electrolyzer uh, scale efficiency and cost, but also uh, transport. Shell globally has a project to de-risk liquid hydrogen transportation, uh, which is ongoing at the moment. That will be a major step for us to understand what else and what more needs to be done to make that technology both technically and commercially viable. Um, but I think we would probably expect growth in the green hydrogen market to start kicking off more exponentially uh, in the 2030s onward. And now is the time to uh, invest and be prepared and, and be basically in pole position because it's a it's a must for the energy transition but also it's a business opportunity for companies like us to uh, and contribute to the energy uh, transition and obviously return value to, uh, to our share.